Princess Coriander, aka Dogfire. Now, you gotta admit that Dogfire is a very attractive and sexy looking young lady. But why is that? Well, I'm gonna kinda clear the story of why Dogfire looks so appealing besides she needs to have some fan service in for the boys. So, let's talk about why Starfire is so sexy. Starfire first appeared in the New Teen Titan issue number one back in the 80s. She was created by Marv Wolfman and George Perez. She's an alien of love. She loves things. She loves life. She loves to experiment with things. She is just an all-around lovable character. And in fact, she is one of my favorite characters in DC Comics to date. No, Starfire doesn't always have to have, you know, the sexy look. Eventually, it later on changed, but when George Perez and Marv Wolfman did her, you can tell that they did it just a little bit for the fan service. I do have to say, I haven't read any of the Rebirth stuff yet, but I love her Rebirth costume. It's a little throwback to the uh, Teen Titans animated series. If you go back, if you go on Google and look up her DC Rebirth costume, it's a very nice costume. I actually do like it. There are a lot of them that I love that don't go too overboard and sexy. The 80s costume is one of the ones that I really do like. Um, I think it was really great. I loved her design in the 80s. I loved her character development in the 80s. It was a very, very great time for Starfire. But of course, there are like, some other characters where you don't know a lot about them. There is more played on to them. And eventually they thought, you know something? Someone at DC thought this out and said in their head or out loud, like, you know it'd be great if we kind of turned Starfire into an ex-sex trafficker from space. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, there's just one thing wrong with this. Um... You know, I know that sex trafficking is wrong, it's very wrong, it is illegal, and thousands and thousands of women who go through this, even men, are very hurt by this fact, they're very um, offended by it, and they never want to talk about it. So putting it into one of your most popular characters isn't really all that good. But for Starfire's case, it actually does work pretty well. Because think about some women who do human trafficking for a minute here. If you've seen any movies based on it or whatnot. Usually these women are young, which is what Starfire is. They're so attractive, which is what Starfire is. And that's really all that they have to do. Be young, be attractive looking, and that's it. Now, no, don't call me out and say that I know everything that there is to know about this. No, because I don't. And I think it is wrong. I think it is disgusting. And I would think that it's all around bad, okay? So don't call me out for this or anything like that. <clears throat> so, sorry for you going through this, but it actually makes a little bit of sense because... She doesn't really understand the necessariness of love. Especially when she first appeared in the 80s, she had no concept of love. And the reason why she loved Dick Grayson so much is because he showed her love when she really needed it. He showed her respect. He showed her honesty. He showed her everything that a woman loves. And she just crapped, so to speak. Um, because of how much that he was giving to her, and she was like, oh my god, you know, um, I think like, the, in the, in her first appearance with, uh, Dick, which actually made sense to her, uh, human trafficking backstory, um, she either got into bed with him or attempted to sleep with him without him knowing about it. And Dick kind of woke up and he's like, whoa, 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 hey. As much as good looking as you are, Corey, uh, you need to go not elsewhere. <laughs> uh, it, it was pretty funny how it played out. Um, but it does fit her, char her character because in a, cir in a circumstance like this, 
a woman would not be able to really forget about everything that she did, everything that she learned in that circum in that circumstance, and Guy Fire is one of these people. Now of course she, she does fight crime, she is super powered, and she does love humanity, but you do see, see this played out afterwards. Especially after um, her and Dick broke up. She kind of fell back into the hole about this. She kind of acted that way again. Um, and she eventually, you know, just started doing all these things again. And it's not because of choice, but it's just because she went back to her roots now. Because now, since she doesn't have any love with, with her, um, she's sort of like, well, Dick Grayson left me. He's a scumbag. But I guess there's only one thing left to do. And she went back to her roots. Usually people, when they come out of like uh, a drug relapse or an alcohol relapse or whatever, they come out of drugs or alcohol, they will eventually go into a relapse period where usually they go right back to where they started. And this was Starfire after Dick Grayson, aka Nightwing, which Nightwing sir, broke up with her. And she just collapsed into the hole. Which is why a lot of people do hate it, but it makes sense that in Nightwing, that in Red Hood and the Outlaws, uh, where she appeared with Roy Harper and Jason Todd, she went to, I think it was Jason Todd, and she said, I don't want to have sex. It's not, it makes sense because here is a person, this alien princess, who was kidnapped, sold in human trafficking, before she reached Earth. This makes so much sense. Yeah, I can look at it and actually go, that makes sense now. Because this is what we are learning. And, you know, it is a very good thing. And it would explain why Starfire loves humanity so much. Because she doesn't want to see humanity fall into the same black abyss that she came from. And I actually really do respect that. And you gotta have a character that really speaks out to other people, and Starfire is definitely one of these, these characters who did so, especially back in the 80s. And the thing is, she is very against it, and the DC Rebirth, I haven't seen Reddit, um, I've seen a review of it where, um, by, it's super effective, by the way, go check him out, go check out Faust, he's very, very, uh, very cool. Um, and I saw his review of the DC Rebirth where he talked about it and where Starfire was very against it and she was talking about why she was against it and everything, which actually made sense because now she wants to go against revenge and go and get revenge for the people that have done that. And technically speaking, she did that with Red Hood and the Outlaws. Uh, with the Teen Titans, not really because the Titans are supposed to be, you know, the superhero group that is for younger children. <laughs> And I don't think that Cory could go around and uh, kill people and slaughter people. You know, it was bad enough in the PSA back in the 80s when she blew up a building out of rage. Yeah, I don't want to know what she would do out of rage if uh, they ever, and they, they could, with her too, um, make a PSA about human trafficking and then see what Cory would do to people then, because then they would no longer be living. So. She, it's amazing how you take a character with such a tragic backstory like you did with the X-Men and eventually I will talk about the X-Men and why I love them so much. Um, and you take a character from a very tragic backstory and you turn her into probably one of the best characters in your entire DC Universe. I love Starfire because of the character that she becomes, the character that she is, and everything that she does is just very much amazing and I love her to pieces and I always will. She is such a great and inspiring character. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about Starfire's background? And I know that it's ugly, you don't have to say that, but do you think it actually would make sense to her character development? I'm not talking about the animated series, that's completely different, that's for children, but do you think that her backstory makes sense to her character, yes or no? and why. You can make up your own little theory about it if you want to. The reason why I'm saying yes is because, number one, she's a very sexually drawn character, she's a very attractive looking character, and she is an all-around loving character, 
even though she came from a very bad background, she wanted to change for the better for herself, and I think that's really, really inspiring. So, and especially for a man who comes from a pretty bad background himself, and I had to change myself, I can really, really to start fire in so many different ways. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned for some more episodes. I promise that on Monday I will try to go back to the uh, whole entire horror theme for the rest of the month. And then in November, I'll go back to my nerdy group. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time with another video. Be sure to follow me at Twitter with the link in the description below. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to check out some more of my other videos. Be sure to subscribe. See you guys next time.